Introducing new WebWi Forge with Flux and SD3 options it's easy to switch which model you want to use. Even on low GPU RAM like I got 3GB GTX 1060 you can use Flux locally to generate realistic pictures. You can also adjust how much RAM you want to utilize. And with built-in control net and other options you can easily use them being a new user. This new Forge WebWi is not just a tool to generate images now if you click on spaces you can use your favorite tools with just one click. You don't really need to install any of these tools just choose it install it and launch it. Installing this locally is very easy. All you need Python 3.10.8, FFmpeg, CMake, Visual Studio to have installed. If you are new to my YouTube channel subscribe it and press bell icon to stay updated. Well let's see how you can install this. Click on GitHub link in my description to go to main page of WebWi Forge. You can watch my video on what all you need to have installed video link is in my description. Click on code and download main zip file. After downloading it extract it where you want to install this. After extracting it go to main extracted folder there you will see webwe user bat file. Double click on it to install this. You don't have to do anything it will automatically install and launch webwe forge. If you want to add flux or different models just go to main folder there is models folder. Put models in stable diffusion folder to use them. You can also add loras and other models in these folders. To generate a picture type prompt. Click Generate and see the magic of Forge WebWi. You can also use it on Kaggle but Spaces options won't work since they launch with Gradio. Click on GitHub link in my description to download Flux Notebook for Forge. There you will see Flux Forge click on it and download Notebook. After downloading Notebook go to Kaggle make sure you are signed in and verified. Click on plus sign and create new notebook. Click on file and upload that notebook you downloaded.
go to Notebook option and choose GPU X2 and Files and Variables in Persistence options. Make sure your internet is turned on. Click on three dots at top and start session. After session start run first cell without any changes. Run second cell without any changes. After second cell load go to model cell and run that cell. You can run this with Ngrok by putting Oath token here or use Pingy cell to run it. Run Pingy cell and wait until you see local URL. When you see local URL click on Pingy URL to launch Forge. You don't need to install anything else just type prompt and use flux by using it on forge option.
You can also use image to image and in paint option of forge using flux. I hope you like this video. If you got any question or request comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.